There has been a, an appeal filed in this matter, filed by alternate public defender uh, on behalf of Mr. DeSoto, and that was filed on March 3rd. This was the first time Judge Anita Socola had heard of the appeal. Had she known prior, she wouldn't have scheduled a restitution hearing on the matter today. Public Defender Jocelyn Rodin represents DeSoto. Our position is remains the same now. until the appeal is done. We do not believe that uh, restitution, a restitution hearing is appropriate. And the court agreed. Ms. Uh, Rodin is correct. So this matter is up on appeal. The issue of uh, restitution, though, can still be heard. According to KUAM files, only four of DeSoto's 14 victims are requesting restitution totaling close to $14,000 to cover medical, travel, and funeral expenses. The remaining victims didn't respond or didn't request any restitution. Those who did, however, will have to wait. DeSoto pleaded not guilty by reason of mental illness. After over a month in trial and another two weeks in deliberations, the 12 panel jury returned with a guilty verdict, and he was sentenced to three lifetimes behind bars. During his sentencing, DeSoto continued to blame his mental illness for what he did. I have not lied to you, my fellow humans. My actions were not the result of a premeditating murderous monster who has no love within his soul, but that of a tiny, meek, withered and scared young man, writhing in psychological pain and paranoia. According to the alternate public defender's office, attorney Stephen Atori will be representing DeSoto in the appeal. As for the March 3rd filing, the Supreme Court confirms the notice of appeal was in fact submitted in 2014 and that the most recent filing is relative to an order granting the appellant additional time to submit their brief, which is now due on or before May 8th. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.